Fat Pig is a dark comedy about a hip, sophisticated urban executive who falls in love with a plus-sized woman. As their relationship develops, we discover that he doesn't have the courage to admit to his friends that he is having a relationship with her because of her size. It is a play about body image and the inability to stand up for one's convictions. Joining us now to fill in the blanks are the stars of the show, Jennifer Stevenson, who plays Helen, and Scott Bryan, who plays Tom. Guys, thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, so, not not light fair, not a light comedy <laughs> we're talking about here. Neil Butte uh, can be kind of a difficult playwright to wrap your head around. Um, tell us a little bit about the show in terms of what, what its grand message is. So we've got the, the basic premise of it. What is Labute trying to say with this piece? Well, I think that he is actually talking about how societal expectations impact our choices in general, mm -hmm. um, and specifically with the people that we love. Yeah, because your, your character falls in love with her, and it really is just more about concern of, of how others will receive her. Is that is that really the gist of it? Yeah, and it's, uh, it's a piece about... Um, about the darker side of how humans uh, react to one another and how they deal with situations that they're put in. I mean, there's not really like a heroic ending to the play, you know. It's it's something that, um, it, it shows how people can kind of mistreat each other and be weak and, um, and insecure about themselves. And uh, hopefully I think the grand message is that People talk about it afterwards, and yeah. they want to make changes within the, their own behavior and right. their own uh, their own reaction to the world around them. Right. Well, so uh, of course the the show has got a stellar cast uh, featuring both of you, as well as Jason Witter, and Kate Costello. Yep. Albuquerque theater goers know these four names very well, and they also know you guys a lot for comedy. Mm -hmm. What is it like stepping into something that is a bit more of a dramatic and a darker turn? Now, Scott, we were talking earlier about a film that, that you uh, wrote and produced as well that's got a dark turn. So yeah. what's it like kind of taking on these darker tones? It's really satiating, mm -hmm. quite honestly. Um, you can really feel the audience is on this journey with us throughout the whole show, and just their reaction to it is, is exciting. And as an actor, just getting to bite into these roles mm -hmm. is really exciting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and Labute would call it a comedy, and it, it's kind of billed as a comedy, but um, that's, I think, just to get people in the door. But <laughs> <laughs> there's definitely hilarious moments in the show, yeah. but it's like awkward hilarity. Um, yeah. And yeah, for me as an actor, it's like I thrive on hearing laughs, and like that's yeah. how I know the audience is enjoying it. So it's been a little bit of a different, a different beast. Uh, yeah. Like, hearing absolute silence from the audience right. after delivery of some of your stuff. Right, well, you know, and of course, you know, going going into Labute himself, he is a, like like we were talking about, very, very difficult writer sometimes to wrap your head around. Mm -hmm. uh, film audiences will know him from his work in, in the company of men, your friends and neighbors, uh, the shape of things. What is it like performing that work? Is it something that you find difficult? Because he does kind of bring up the ugly sides of humanity, but you can't bring judgment to it as actors, right? Mm -hmm. So what is it like performing his work? It's, uh, it's challenging. It, it? Um, well, because he writes in a very naturalistic way, like where a lot of the times the, uh, the characters choke on their own words, they don't know what to say in situations. Um, and, and yeah, and then it gets into the way people treat each other we have to put up a, a really hard fourth wall in this show because it's like we're having intimate conversations that we wouldn't want anyone to hear. Right. And then there's an audience and there's that's watching it. There's a hundred people yeah. that are watching yeah. it. Yeah. 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 <coughs> so um, the the show was opened last weekend. How long does it run for? Three more weekends Three through more May eleventh. Through May through May eleventh. Okay. Yes. And that's at the Vortex Theater. Yeah. Uh, and it's going to be one of the last shows that you could see at the Vortex before they move to their new location. Yes. So uh, if you want to go see this show, folks, I highly recommend it. Labute's one of my personal favorite writers. I think he's a, a brilliant writer. Uh, go to Casa.com, click on the Style tab. We will have links to the Vortex Theater. Uh, runs Friday through Sundays, is that right? Yes. Yep. Okay, fantastic. Fat Pig at the Vortex. Guys, break legs. Thank you.